Let's see narrative design in action as we approach a non-player character in this demo. Hello. It's your first day in the office today, right? Are you ready for an on-ground tour of the facility? Here, narrative design sets up an initial exchange with a location-based trigger that activates when we approach the tour guide NPC. Yes, I'm ready. Okay then, follow me. Narrative design triggers actions as well as conversations. Here, a walk to action was invoked. The conveyor belt is a crucial part of our operations here. It helps in the smooth transfer of goods from one point to another. Do you have any questions about it? At this instance, the next objective was triggered. Here we can decide whether we want to ask the tour guide a question. Yeah, what does it transfer? The conveyor belt transfers raw materials and finished products between different sections of the factory. Or move on to the next location. No, let's continue the tour. All right, let's check out the assembly line robots. The character seamlessly responds to user's decisions, generating relevant conversation or actions. Try this project out following the link in the description. Game creators and virtual developers love having more control over the characters they design. This includes supporting various narratives and ensuring that the character acts and responds appropriately in every dynamic scenario. With Convey's narrative design feature, developers can create characters that have agency and purpose, giving them the autonomy to generate both scripted and generative responses and actions, all based on the decisions players make. We'll start this tutorial by setting up your character and scene then we'll do a quick overview of narrative design on the Convey Playground, enable Convey's essential components including lip sync, head tracking, and more, and then configure Narrative Design Manager inside Unity. We'll also show you how to create a script for a tour guide controller, and then finally test it all out. Let's get started. To begin with, we'll download the project files, which consist of all the prerequisites for the tour guide demo, linked in the description. Then we'll start building on top of it. Once the files are extracted, we'll head over to the Unity Hub and add our project files, like so. While we wait for the project to load, head over to the Unity Asset Store and just search for Convey. Click on it and add it to your assets. Now let's head over to the Convey Playground. Our demo aims to create a tour guide, which will give new players a tour of the warehouse. So we've created a story that would support our character's narrative. Let's head to the Narrative Design option where we can create a narrative flow for our character. To learn more about how to customize the narrative design for your character, watch our detailed walkthrough following the link in the description. Okay, let's take a look at how this narrative flow works. Our initial location is based on a trigger that gets invoked once a player approaches the tour guide. Here, we'll use narrative design to relay a message to the player and based on the player's decision, guide them to the next objective in the guided tour. For example, once the player agrees to take the tour, the tour guide takes the user to the conveyor belt, and based on that trigger, the conveyor belt section gets activated. Here the tour guide talks about the conveyor belt and generates responses to any questions the user has, while also nudging the user to move to the next part of the tour, which is the assembly line robots. So that was a very quick overview of how narrative design works. Now let's head back to our project. We'll start by enabling Text Mesh Pro. Head over to Window, Text Mesh Pro, and Import TMP Essentials. Once that's done in the Package Manager inside My Assets, we'll search for NPC and import the Convey package. Hit install and then import it. Once the Convey SDK is imported, click on Let's Start. If you see this pink texture, don't worry about it. This is just because the project is an HDRP project. Under Assets, go to Tutorial Starter Content, then Unity Factory Scene HDRP, then Scene Factory, and finally load the scene. Once that's done, we'll head over to Convey under Assets, then Prefabs, Base Scene Essentials, and drag and drop it like so.
As you can see, the scene is now loaded. We don't need workers for this tutorial, so we'll disable it like so. Next, click on Convey Essentials and drag the player controller to the scene. If you try to test the scene, you'll see this pop up. Ensure that your Convey API key has been added here. So head over to the Convey Playground, copy your API key, and paste it in. Hit Save, and then once that's done, let's test out our scene. As you can see, it's possible to move around the scene. Since we won't be using long-term memory for this project, we'll disable it by deleting Convey Player Data SO and opting out of creating a speaker ID. So that's it for the basic setup. Now let's head over to the tutorial start content. Christina Smith, who's our tour guide, and we'll drop her prefab from the prefabs folder into the scene. For our narrative flow, we want the start section to trigger once the player approaches the character, and then the conveyor belt section to trigger when the character reaches here, and finally the assembly line section to trigger when the character reaches here. So let's do that. Go to the Christina Smith prefab and add the convey NPC component. Copy and paste the character name from your convey account and also the character ID. You can easily copy these from the description. Next, we'll add the animator controller like this. And then enable convey components, NPC actions, lip sync, head and eye tracking, eye blinking, and most importantly, the narrative design manager. Click on yes when prompted and all of the components should be added. Under the Narrative Design Manager, we can see all the sections we created in the narrative flow on the Convey Playground already present here. Every time a section starts or ends, an event is invoked, and on the basis of that, you can customize how your character interacts with the environment, depending on the user's decision. Before we dive into narrative design, let's quickly set up facial expressions. Inside Convey Lip Sync, click here and add the Reillusion preset for the character. Under Head Renderer, drag and drop the CC Base Body, and then finally drag and drop the CC Base Jawbone and CC Base Tongue. So that's lip sync done. For head and eye tracking, the NPC will always face the player camera, unless a target object has been provided. For this tutorial, we'll leave it blank. For eye blinking, we'll again drag and drop the CC Base Body. For the index for the eyelids, you can head to CC Base Body and under Blend Shapes, you'll see the Eye Blink left and Eye Blink right. Copy the property path and paste it like so. The input is numeric, so we'll keep the number that's there, 16. We'll assign 17 for the right eye and set the max Blend Shape weight to 100. Now let's add a capsule collider and make it big enough for the character. We'll also add the nav mesh agent. In addition, let's add some negative offset so that the character doesn't float. Now let's give it a quick test. As you can see, we're able to move, so let's try interacting with the NPC. Hello, how are you? Hello! It's your first day in the office today, right? Are you ready for an on-ground tour of the facility? So you can see that we're now able to talk to the character. Finally, let's start the narrative design implementation. We'll start by adding a 3D cube and name it Start Section Trigger. Place it in your character's vicinity and increase the width and depth so that it covers this entire section. Remove the mesh renderer and make it a trigger. Now add the narrative design trigger component to it. Add your convey NPC here and select the start trigger option like so. 
We don't want the game object to be active once the trigger is invoked, so we'll do that by dragging the start section trigger here, and then selecting game object set active. We'll duplicate this process for the conveyor belt and assembly line triggers. Drag and drop the duplicate cubes like so. Now let's head back to our character and go to the Narrative Design Manager. Here we'll leverage the Start and End section triggers. We want the conveyor belt trigger to be active when the Start section ends, so we'll configure that like so, and then repeat it for the assembly line robots. Now by default the conveyor belt and assembly line section should get deactivated and they'll be made active only once the respective prior section ends. Now let's head back to the tutorial starter content and create a script for the tour guide controller. We'll attach this to our character. Once that's done, open the script in your preferred IDE. Wait for the project to get fully indexed. Okay, we can now create a private variable of type convey action handler and name it convey action handler. Then in the awake method, we'll need to get a reference of the action handler. We'll use the get component and then call the convey action handler. Next, we'll create a public function and call it public void move to, and it will take a game object. Head now inside the convey action handler and look for the move to function. We'll make it a public function, and before the animation initializes, we'll enable the nav mesh agent. Once the character reaches the desired position, we'll disable the nav mesh agent like so. Now, inside the setup animation navigation, we'll comment out these lines and do the same with the finish movement. Head back to the tour guide controller script and give obj as the target for convey action handler, move to. We'll call this inside a start coroutine function. Now, by default, the nav mesh agent should be turned off. So let's save the scene. So when the conveyor belt entry section starts, the tour guide will go to the conveyor belt trigger. For that, we'll use the move to function and add the conveyor belt trigger. Repeat the same process for the assembly line section trigger. We've noticed that 3.5 is too high a speed for our character, so we'll set the value between 1.8 and 2. Let's quickly verify if we have selected the right triggers. So inside the conveyor belt section trigger, we'll select the conveyor belt trigger and select the assembly line trigger for the assembly line section. Save the scene and head to the game window to test it out. Hello? It's your first day in the office today, right? Are you ready for an on-ground tour of the facility? Yes, I'm ready. Okay then, follow me. As we can see, the tour guide is taking us from one place to another, and we can start talking about the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt is a crucial part of our operations here. It helps in the smooth transfer of goods from one point to another. Do you have any questions about it? Yeah, what does it transfer? The conveyor belt transfers raw materials and finished products between different sections of the factory. It ensures that everything is in the right place at the right time. Do you have any questions? No, let's continue with the tour. All right, let's check out the assembly line robots.
Yeah, let's go. The assembly line robots are the backbone of our production process. They are responsible for assembling the pro- As you can see, our character isn't moving to the assembly line area. Let's revisit the conveyor belt trigger. As you can see here, we forgot to enable the trigger. So let's fix that, save the scene and try again. No, it's very cool. Let's continue with the tour. All right, let's check out the assembly line robots. As you can see, the tour guide is moving to the assembly line area now and will tell us more about the robots and entertain any of our questions or converse with us. So this was all about creating a tour guide inside Convey's narrative design feature inside Unity. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and we'd love to see the innovative creations you build using this. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Unity content. As always, come by our Discord for any questions or write to us at support at convey.com for collabs and business-related queries. Happy development and see you all again very soon.